Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video today with me and another small dinosaur YouTuber known as The Big Rhino are going to be talking about the top 8 species that could appear in Camp Cretaceous Season 5. Also, if I do sound a bit ill, I do still have a cold. Um, I have just got over COVID, so yeah. But I don't really want to talk too much about it. It's been a little while since I've done like a little sit down talk video, theory video, so yeah. I'm, I feel kind of ready to do this. So yeah, me and Big Rhino are going to do our little theory video. So the first creature on our list is the Sukamimus. Now, for those of you who don't know, in Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous, we saw some sort of Spinosaurus dinosaur in Darius's field guide. Now, we know Darius only draws the dinosaurs he encountered on the island in his field guide, which means that there is a Sukamimus on Isla Nublar. Now, I know many of you might be saying, but right now, the kids aren't on Isla Nublar anymore. They're on Mantacorps Island. Well, because the kids are no longer on Isla Nublar, it's now much easier for Mantacorp to send drones to dance the dinosaurs from Isla Nublar and then transport them from Nublar to their own island. So let's say if somehow they found the Sukamimus on Isla Nublar, they could capture it and bring it to their own island. Well, that's enough for my part. Now let's move on to Gorgo. Take it away, buddy. Thank you. The Triceratops is a second is the second uh, dinosaur that could appear in season five, simply because it was on Isla Nublar, but we never saw it, and we know that Dave and Roxy are returning and now with Brand, Darius's brother. They could potentially send a team to Nublar to check if they're there. They may come across a Triceratops. Or there could be a Triceratops on Manticore Island. We don't know. Uh, but it would be interesting to see the Triceratops actually appear, seen as Sinoceratops was the only one that actually appeared in Camp Cretaceous so far, as well as the spino sino ceratops abomination in Season 4. <laughs> but, yeah. So, so that is Triceratops. Moving on to the third one. Take it away, Rhino. Thank you. So our third creature on the list is Sarcosuchus. Now the only reason Sarcosuchus is on the list is because there was recently a reveal for the Sarcosuchus toy for Camp Cretaceous. As we all know, many of the toy and creatures have appeared in Camp Cretaceous itself, such as the Spinosaurus, the Baryonyx, and the Ceratosaurus. So it isn't that far-fetched to think that Sarcosuchus could also appear in Season 5. So now we're going to move on to Gorgo. Thank you. So, moving on to number 4, Allosaurus. Now, in Season 3, when they were on the boat, Ben mentioned uh, running away from an Allosaurus uh, off a cliffside or something like that, jumping off a cliff to escape an Allosaurus. That clearly means that Ben and the clan, well, the whole gang have come across an Allosaurus before. Which means that it could have a slight chance of appearing in Season 5, but we just don't know. It could be transported over to Manticore Island. It could There could be one on Manticore Island too. Or, like I said earlier with the Triceratops thing, with the people returning to the Nublar, they could come across it there and it could appear again so that is that is another reason why uh, allosaurus could appear moving back to uh, rhino thank you so the fifth creature on our list is mamentosaurus now i think when camp Cretaceous first released there was a promotional item for the show and on one of those items we had the name and also a picture of the mamentosaurus well, not technically a picture, more like a silhouette with a size comparison. But after that mention, we, we didn't get the Mamentisaurus in Camp Cretaceous, nor did we get any other... We didn't get any more information or any, more sh or any toys of the Mamentisaurus either. But because it was put on a promotional item, 
for Camp Cretaceous, there is still a chance that it could appear in season 5. And another reason why, Mom why Mamenchi could appear is that on Is the Sorna, there are a couple of few Mamenchi sources. We saw that in the Lost World Jurassic Park. And as we know, Manticore are capturing and transporting dinosaurs from Isla Sorna, such as the Spinosaurus. So it is very possible that Mentacorp might capture some, some Mamenchi sources from Isla Sorna and then transport them to their own island. But anyway, those are all the reasons why Mamenchi sources could appear in the next season. Back to Gorgo. Stingy Moloch is the next on the list. Now, what, all of mine are all ones that could appear from his Anubla, pretty much. Stingy Moloch could appear once again because it's on his Anubla, and they could come across it if they go back there as a recon to see if anyone's left behind or if they're there. If they're not able to track the phone, as the, the in season four it is mentioned that the phone signals and like there's no communication off or onto the island, so they're pretty much stuck there. However. We saw Darius phone his brother, which clearly means there is a communication with a phone. So, I don't think they'll be making any uh, trip to Isla Nublar, but they could, and could come across Stiggy, Stiggy Moloch, or maybe even more. Moving back on to uh, Rhino to talk about the mammoth. So our seventh creature on the list is the woolly mammoth. Now. There's a pretty simple reason why the mammoth could appear in season 5. We saw that Mentacorp are capable of recreating creatures from the Cenozoic period. So if they could make a smile on, making a mammoth shouldn't be that much it shouldn't be that much of a struggle. The Apatosaurus. One icon dinosaur. So yes, as you know, Apatosaurus has not appeared at all in Camp Cretaceous at all, although I was about to say it appeared in the toy line, but it didn't. It was a legacy creature. Forget that. Um, the Apatosaurus has not appeared yet in Camp Cretaceous. However, it has been mentioned. I think there was a drawing in Darius's note journal about, you know, or the survival guide journal. Um, that it is a Nublar. But that could just be me. It probably was a Brachiosaurus. Anyway, Brachiosaurus was the main sort of focus of a long neck creature in... Um, Season, or throughout Camp Cretaceous, there's never been an Apatosaurus really shown at all. So, and in Camp Cretaceous, for some reason, there was more Abrachiosaurus than Apatosaurus. So once again, if the crew go to the island and they go to a different part of the island, maybe that's where all these other dinosaurs are, like the Triceratops, Stegomoloch, Allosaurus, Apatosaurus, that's why we didn't see them, then, you know, they could come across them again. Obviously, there's dinosaurs all over, all over the island now, they can move. So, yeah, that is the eighth and final dinosaur prediction for season five when they did their old recon mission or on Manticorp Island. Well then, that's the end of the video. Thank you, Gorgo, for accompanying me in this video. Do you have something to say to the viewer? Yes, subscribe. Oh yeah, go subscribe to Gorgo's channel. You can, like, not subscribe to my channel. My channel is rubbish. <laughs> go subscribe to him. He makes amazing content and it's really worth checking out so go subscribe i will say the same to my viewers he also makes equally as good content so if you want to check him out i'll leave his link in the description below oh thanks man no but anyway guys but anyway guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye yes much love as always